Season 13, Stewie's Ensemble has gone down as one of the most reviled episodes in Family Guy history. We're pregnant! Oh my god! People really seem to hate this episode with a real passion. It has over 301 one-star reviews on IMDb, and amongst them, people have ultimately summed it up as disturbing, disgusting, Antoine simply ended their IMDb review by saying, if this is comedy, then I never want to laugh again. Yikes. There's also countless Reddit posts from people expressing just how much this episode really creeps them out. On this discussion thread from when the episode first aired, someone went as far as asking, has there ever been a more disturbing premise on this show before? And this person wrote, even by Family Guy standards, this was effed up. Like really, really effed up. Do the writers even care at this point? But come on, is it really that bad? Can it be as disturbing as everyone says it is? Let's rewatch this episode and find out. The episode starts with Stewie feeling neglected by Brian, who seems too busy to hang out with him. I can't, I got plans. I'll see you later. Oh, sure, maybe another time. So after seeing how much Susie has brought Joe and Bonnie closer together, Stewie gets the crazy idea of becoming pregnant so he and Brian could get closer themselves. Babies save relationships. So he builds a pregnancy machine, inserts Brian's hair and saliva into it, and therefore impregnates himself with the dog's DNA. He shares the story of the Immaculate Conception with Daddy Brian, who naturally doesn't take the news too well. Abortion! Abortion! You need to get a big fat abortion right this second! But even so, as expectant parents, Stewie indulges in all things cringy that new parents tend to do, like a good old cheesy photo shoot. Dad, can I get one of your head on the belly? Oh, Dad, I just got emotional. Later on, Stewie eventually gives birth in Brian's car and the babies come out of every single orifice. I think it's coming out of my mouth! <laughs> <laughs> All in all, he produces seven deformed human-dog hybrids. And unfortunately, some of them are blind, deaf, and dumb. I think that one is blind. We'll have to get him little sunglasses. And although Brian was initially upset, he suddenly warmed the idea of being a father again. This is your opportunity to do things differently. Oh, maybe you're right. But despite their best efforts, the two realize that being parents isn't as easy as it looks, especially after some of them died. Yeah, the deaf one didn't hear Joe's lawnmower. Oh, that's really upsetting. Stewie then confesses to Brian that he only got pregnant to spend more time with him, with Brian then saying that he had always wanted to hang out, but was just giving the kids some space. We didn't have to do any of this. I, I guess not. So, realizing that the entire effort had been completely pointless, they end up dumping the poor remaining kids at the pear shop. So, did Family Guy really go too far with this one? Well, the truth is, is that Family Guy has always tried to outshock itself by introducing more and more controversial situations. That's what Family Guy has always done, and that's why people generally seem to love it. People also seem to like it because it took more risks than the likes of The Simpsons, which some thought played it too safe. In many ways, it was Family Guy's way of proving that it had a place on TV, with a more adult and a more twisted demographic with darker humour and characters. But some people feel that this specific episode completely crossed that line. Now, speaking for myself, and I'm not sure if this is a controversial take or not, but I don't think that this is a bad episode. Like, I'm not saying that Stewie getting pregnant isn't weird, because it definitely, definitely is, but that's all kind of the joke, isn't it? I always saw that the humour of this episode was just how ridiculous the situation was. And was it gross? Yes. Obscene? Yes. But again, that's the point. This isn't treated like a normal thing, it's supposed to be completely insane. But even still, it links back to the idea that Stewie is still a baby with seemingly wholesome motivations, like wanting to see more of his friends, but then you get the weird warped way he tries to go about it to solve it. I'm losing him. If we're going to fix this relationship, we need a baby and we need it now. It's just what Family Guy is. And humour-wise in this episode, I did really enjoy seeing Stewie indulge in the stereotypical things that a new mother might do. Like this over-the-top photo shoot. Very classy. This feels incredibly wrong. And what's really funny is that inside my copy of Inside Family Guy and Illustrated History, it actually talks about this scene right here. The book reads, after researching awkward pregnancy photos, they try to recreate those disturbing moments with Brian and Stewie. 
Anne-Marie Brown, a storyboard artist, said we wanted to make them as corny as we could. And it has to be said that this scene did get a big laugh out of me, especially seeing Brian's pained expressions. It just made it a whole lot funnier. And to be honest, I laughed quite a lot throughout this episode. Like when the doctor didn't clock that he was dealing with a pregnant male toddler. Uh, sneezed real hard and all that came out. Ah, oh, that explains it. And that Stewie wanted to keep the placenta and eat it. Brian, save the placenta. Do you even have a placenta? But whatever comes out, save it. I want to eat it. Now, on the other hand, I do totally get why people would be turned off by this episode. I'm definitely not saying it's genius. And it's definitely not my favourite episode of Family Guy. Nowhere near, in fact. I simply find it a middle-of-the-road episode with some funny moments. Maybe it comes down to the fact that I am desensitised to Family Guy's humour by this point, especially when it comes to Stewie. I mean, he's voluntarily eaten horse semen. Everyone, some of the milk in the fridge is not milk, it's horse sperm. and has had multiple sexual relationships with grown men. I know Lee from Starbucks. Hey, is that Desiree? So, Stewie getting pregnant by science isn't that crazy in the world of Family Guy. Also, the side plot of Peter and the guys trying to make a viral video also had its moments too. Like Joe's spot on impersonations. Good morning, Vietnam. Wait until they get a load of me, said the Joker. And Peter recording a day in his life and seeing a little grunge ghost boy was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, so we're uh, thinking about selling the house. The Brian and Stewie episodes are usually the best. At least, they used to be. Starting from season two, the Road to episodes were usually the highlight of their seasons. Not only were they fun, but they also deepened Stewie's and Brian's bond and friendship. In fact, the two highest rated episodes on IMDb are both Brian and Stewie episodes, Road to the Multiverse and Back to the Pilot. But I do think that their more recent episodes haven't quite reached the same heights of greatness as those classics. But maybe that's a whole video in itself. So while I personally don't mind this episode, it still pales massively in comparison to their past great episodes. And if we're going to talk about disgusting episodes, then I personally consider Herbie the Love Sword to be far more disgusting. You knew you had herpes and you still agreed to swap blood with me! Which I also have to rank as one of the absolute worst Brian and Stewie episodes in the history of man. So if you want to watch me cover that gross episode in more detail, then please let me know in the comments below. Please don't comment, please don't comment, please don't comment. Actually, yeah, please do comment. <laughs> 